from the title, I know some of you are going to say that he's here to rant again. This could be a rant video, but also an informative video to each and everyone who is looking forward to travel within their own continent. I mean, like, travel within Africa. Like, the struggle traveling within Africa is so real, man. That's why sometimes I always come in here to share my experience with you guys for you to know what is really happening. Like I said, exclude me from your tribalism. Exclude me from your politics. Exclude me from your religious stuff. I am just here to promote Africa in a positive way. That's why I keep on saying that make sure you support the movement. It was not easy yesterday because we were denied entry to Gambia. I was not denied, but the people that I was with were denied. The reason behind it was really crazy. I'm saying it's crazy because they called me and they told them to go out. The first immigration officer asked me, where do you know all these people? Do you know that people from Kenya and Tanzania are dangerous? You know, from there I started laughing, like, I was like, is one Africa really going to happen? And I was like, why are you saying they are dangerous? Like, like, you don't know them. Like, I said, no, I know them. I've been moving along with them, so you cannot tell me that they are dangerous. And he told me to sign. What shows that they are not dangerous? So I had to sign, and then he collected all our passport and told me to go and meet the next immigration officer. I went to meet the next immigration officer. The next immigration officer told me that these people that you are with cannot enter Gambia freely. You can go to Gambia because you are from West Africa, but these people are from East Africa, so they cannot go to Gambia. But if they can go to Gambia, they need to get a clearance, um, how do you call it, a, a clearance from the country. So if you don't know what a clearance is, it's like an invitation letter that is stamped by the immigration in Gambia. So when you are entering Gambia, if you are from East Africa, countries like, Gam uh, countries like um, Tanzania and also Kenya, they need to get a clearance form before they get, what, the visa. But if you don't have the clearance form, you need to get what? You need to, get, you need to apply for visa before you go to Gambia. I was like, wow. How much is the visa fees? This guy is saying we need to pay 3,000 Zambian currency, so which means that we need to spend like 9,000 at that very moment. But I don't want to rant alone because I was not there alone. I was with them, so I feel like this is the first time people have to support what I'm saying. People have to bring their own opinion because all the time when it happens, it happens to me alone. But unfortunately, yesterday I was not alone. Can you guys come? Let's let's talk to them. What really happened yesterday? One person is not joining anyway. He he said he's afraid of the camera. Yeah, I don't know why he, he doesn't want to join us. But anyway, how was the experience like yesterday? The experience yesterday was crazy. Like I've never experienced that before. Uh, because online you see clearly we don't need a visa, but apparently when you go to their website you need a visa, and we did not know that. And then um, what shocked me most is that realizing that we are dangerous people, I didn't know that. Uh, it's just sad that uh, another African country can see us as dangerous and we are not carrying weapons, we are not carrying anything. It's just extremely sad. And um, how was your experience like yesterday? The experience yesterday was unexpected, you know. I don't expect such thing to happen in our own continent. And I don't expect an African to say that another African is dangerous. So I don't, I don't understand the reason why they say that we are dangerous. But we, we, love, we love Africa, we love their country, we came here to visit because uh, Gambia is very beautiful. So I don't understand why uh, they, they, kept, they kept us so long in the, in the border, you know, they're just crazy. We were there from, I think, we, we, are, we arrived there around 10 o'clock, I think we were there till 12. We stayed there for more than two hours trying to enter the country and the saddest part is that when we paid the money, we, we finally paid and um, we had to leave the border and then come to, what do you call it, the place to take the ferry and we went there. 
the ferry was gone. Oh Jesus Christ, man! The ferry was gone, and it's late gone. at night, so we can't cross over to the other side. So we just had to sleep in the streets for the first time. When I came <laughs> to the streets. It's left. So cold. Outside. It was so cold. Yeah. Mosquitoes. We had to stay out at night from 12 o'clock to 6:30 a.m. That was crazy. And even when the, the, the another thing that happened is that when we we're about to take the ferry, they took our passport again. Oh. <laughs> when you think you're done, something else comes up. <laughs> then they keep us there waiting. They took us. Out, they took our passport again, and they told me to go inside to talk to the immigration officer. The immigration officer started ranting again. Where are you guys going? How much money do you have? Can you survive in Gambia? And he he talked, 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 talk, and I was like, check my passport. This is not the first country I'm visiting. There's nothing shows that I'm gonna stay in Gambia for long. I'm gonna stay there forever. I'm just gonna stay here a week and I'll leave. He said he wants to see what I do. I showed him my videos. He's like, oh wow, wow, wow. Then you know what? At the end of the day, he asked me for money. For money. That's it. That's how they do it. And, uh, is real. He collected my money. Like, hey, just give me something before you leave. He took my passport. If I don't give him anything, I'm not leaving. We paid. So you had to pay some money. Exactly. They're keeping us there again for a long time. Now we thought, okay, now we are done. <laughs> we are now entering the country. That's it. In Kenya, it's called Kitukidogo. Uh, Kitukidogo. Kitukidogo. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we took the ferry. We took the ferry. We were so happy. Yeah. We reached full view of Gambia. Oh my God. Uh, finally, ah. we are entering Gambia. And we alight the ferry. Our passports are taken again. They took our passport oh, God. again. And this time around, these people are saying they are not going to allow us to go if we don't give them what, uh, how do you call it? He has a name. Is it, is it, is it clearance, man? Registration. Uh? Registration. Registration. <laughs> so we are like, we thought you already did that at the border. Uh, then just before we took the ferry, we did that. Uh, then again, the third time. Is it registration? We need to register because if you don't register, we cannot enjoy, we cannot enjoy the country that much. So you need to register. I asked him, how much are you supposed to pay for the registration? He said, 100 um is it hundred diaries or something like for each and every one and i was like can i have receipts because i need receipt because everything me whatever i'm, I'm doing i need receipt this guy is saying they don't have receipt for the registration yeah. how how <laughs> and he has my passport mm -hmm. he's like if you, if you don't give him the passport if you don't if i don't give him the hundred you're not leaving the that place to enter the country we had to stay stay i said okay hundred is nothing let me give him because we've already slept outside so we have to hurry up and get out of here. And then I gave him the 400 before he handed our passport to us. So me, um, I'm trying to tell you guys that these are the kind of experiences that um, you're gonna go through when you are traveling within Africa. You know, it's difficult to travel within your own continent because we are not the only people who are even like struggling. I saw a couple of Nigerians who they took their passport and they're not going to allow them to enter the country because they want to know what are you doing here, what is your purpose. You have to pay money before you get into the country. <laughs> so I did few research on African countries that need clearance before you enter Gambia. I'm going to put a link in the description. You can check it out. Read so that what happened to us will not happen to you too. This episode is not a ranting episode. We are not here to say how bad Zambia immigration are, no. I'm sorry, not Zambia, I mean Gambia. We just wanna educate you so that if you ever wanna visit this country, because we are here to promote the country in a positive way, just to tell you to come and visit. So when you wanna visit, please make sure you read, you read so that you don't what, experience what we went through yesterday what is your final message to each and everyone out there uh what i'd like to say is that um we're not dangerous people east africans kenyans and tanzanians to be specific are not dangerous people so do not be afraid of us there's nothing to fear we're just like you people we're just like people of gambia we love people yeah and we're only traveling to show the beautiful side of gambia but i, I don't even know how can they add like countries like um, Jamaica, Kenya, Mauritius, Namibia, Philippines, Seychelles, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Tanzania. Like, you know, you add African countries to other countries that need what? Uh, clearance. It doesn't make sense, bro. You have anything to say, man? Okay, what I can say is that uh, if you're traveling to a different country, 
make sure you research about the country and if it's possible try to find a friend in that country who can advise you and also tell you more about the country and their laws so it's, it's very important when you travel it's very important when you travel it's all about africa to the world this will not stop us from showing you the beautiful side of gambia it took us like more than 12 hours to get here and we are here to make people from this country feel proud that they are gambians we are still here in the smiling coast of west africa don't forget to smile I am Maya. If you are from Zambia, what Gambia. am I saying? Zamb Gambia. <laughs> you are if you are from Gambia, please Gambia. make sure it's not Gambia. It is. It is the Gambia. The Gambia. Good. So if you are from the Gambia and you are still in the Gambia, make sure you reach us out on Instagram and maybe you can help us move around the Gambia so that we we'll finish everything that we want to do in one week. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, with Miss Trudy and then Elvis. Derry and the one behind the camera. I am Maya. Peace.